Now I am going to show you how to use the multi authentication system in Laravel 11. And now I will show you the technique you know uh, where I will use the multi authentication using multiple tables. For example, there are multiple roles admin, customer, vendor or seller etc. So when I will create the multi authentication for each uh, type of user that means admin, vendor, customer for each uh, type of user I will create separate tables. So for admin I will create the admin table for the customer I will create the customer table etc. So but in this case I will not use any uh, package for example the breeze or jet stream or any other package i will not use any kind of package i will do it manually okay using the default laravel system and i will use the multi guard here so i am going to show you step by step so that you can understand and i hope you will enjoy so first what i will do uh, what i will do is in the laravel 11 in this folder i am just going to create a multi auth that means i am going to create here a new laravel uh, installation that means i will install a fresh laravel here in this location so i am going to create my terminal into the laravel 11 in this folder in this location and then i am going to create a um, laravel application using the composer command so composer um, then i will use the create project and laravel slash laravel I will give the project name for example multi auth and the project is going to be created in this folder here. So just wait for some time uh, it will be created. Here you see uh, it is done now I am going to close you see here a fresh laravel is installed that is multi auth in this folder in this location. So I am going to open a terminal here that means i am going to run the project now using php artisan serve okay so a development server is running now i am going to copy this and in my browser i am going to paste it you see a fresh laravel 11 is installed here and the current version is 11.9.2 so it is installed so it is working okay perfect now i am going to open the database that means localhost in my case PHP my admin so here now I am going to create a multi auth for database name so multi auth it is my database so I create a database by this name okay now I am going to open the project with my VS code editor so I am going to open my VS code editor and I am going to drag this folder here and you see this is the main application my i am going to use a help file now this is my help.txt file i am going to open here so that i do not need to write all the codes so the complete multi authentication using the multi guard and using the multiple tables um, the full code is written here i will just show you how i will use these codes in my newly created laravel 11 application so you will be able to understand everything from scratch. You see I already have installed this that means this stage is already done. So the next step is I am going to open the config folder and then there is a folder there is a file that is author.php. You see in my config folder that means uh, here this folder there is a author.php I am going to open this. And in the author.php you see the default guard is set up as web guard and the provider is users. Here in my case, I am going to add another one that means admin. So you can just copy this code and you can just paste it here. The guard will be for, uh, for example, the admin guard and the providers will be admins provider, for example. So I am going to create multi guard uh, using this step. So the default guard is web and my guard that I am going to create customly that is admin and provider is admins. Okay. So next step is you see all the providers list. I created a new provider here that is admins. So what I am going to do the users provider how they used it I am going to follow. So just going to copy and I am going to paste it here. This will be admins 
and here you will see the model is admin models here it will be admin there is actually no model yet by this name at models admin you see if i go to the f folder you see my in my model list only user but i will have to create a new model admin so i will do that don't worry so my this task is done users and admins these two providers users provider has the user model and admins provider is calling the admin model so multi get setup is done here i do not need to do anything extra things you see all the things that i have done is given here so that you can understand okay so my next step is for the admins i will create a admin migration file you see that in my existing database migrations folder there is a users for the users table actually there is no table i created yet but in order to create the table there is a migration file users so here you see for the users already there is a uh, migration file uh, created by default when i install the laravel application so these three files are um, given by default and you see here is a users table user name user email user verified at password etc are given but in my case as i am not going to use um, any default authentication uh, that are using packages for example the breeze authentication or other authentication i am not going to use those so everything i will uh, create manually here so as i am going to create everything manually so here actually these two uh, items i do not need to change anything just i will have to change the schema users that means i am going to create the users table and here uh, in this structure i will change in the users table uh, here you see some information are given here i am just going to copy this information and by default that are given name email email verify that i am not going to use the remember token i will give uh, a string i'll create a um, field that is a string type and that will be token so like that so i am going to paste it everything data i am going to paste according to my wish whatever you want you can do here you can uh, put here so here is email photo password it's at a nullable field uh, i can make also this one nullable no problem everything nullable is okay so for the users in order to main actually users main for example customers right your customers i am going to call the users that's okay perfect so for the users there is a name email photo password etc information because a user may have a lot of information um and more information can come here i am just going to put some important information that are mostly needed but you can edit this and you can put any information you want no problem at all and here you see in the last there is a string status this is very important because in your system if you want to make a multi authentication for example in order to maintain your website you must have a admin panel and in the case of admin admin will not register himself admin will just log in in this system but in the case of user user will make self registration in the system user will give his email address password name etc and make the registration and create an uh, account in this uh, application so i am going to um, post it in this way so if uh, this thing happen there is a question uh, if the user will be able uh, immediately after the registration he, if he will be able uh, to log in I mean my uh, i am going uh, to say the answer no because when a user will make a registration an email will be sent to his email address and then he will have to click on the link that is sent to his email and he, if he correctly click on that link only then he will be registered as, uh, as a user in this system otherwise he will not be able to log in so when the user create his um, account here then his status will be pending for example i am going to give a comment zero is pending i am going to make the status zero for example when he will be active then i will make it one in this way so zero equal to pending one is active and two is suspended or something like that it is not important for this tutorial i am just going to show you how i can make it active so here uh, the user portion is done 
now for the admin uh, you see there is admin migration but i will have to create the migration first so i am going to open the terminal here write the command php artisan make migration and create admin stable so i am going to enter you will see a new migration file comes here now and here hot code i will write that i already have written here in this section so i am going to copy from here and here i am going to paste the codes okay so here these things so for the admin it is important to get his name email and password token is also important and photo is actually uh, optional if you want you can implement it or if you want you can skip it that is no problem at all so in my case uh, i am going to skip this i do not need uh, to take any photo or if you want you can also make the photo but i am not going to make any photo uh, and in a similar thing i am going to create in the case of user i am not going to work uh, with photo in this system uh, it is not important for now so i am going to remove the photo from both the sections okay but if you want you can put it and after that i will run the php artisan migrate command in order to execute the tables and create the tables so php artisan migrate enter you see admin tables uh, though it is showing done but actually that is not possible yeah, as there is no error it is showing that but actually i will have to uh, change something i am going to open the dot env file and you see by default the db connection is uh, showing my sqlite i am now going to change it to mysql because i am going to use the mysql system mysql uh, database management here so here i change it to mysql host and port i am not going to touch anything only the db database name i will have to change that is multi auth okay i created that database multi auth by default normally the username becomes root that is okay and in my case the password is this but i am sure in your case the password will be changed so if you change the password change that so i am going to open the database you will see that in my multi auth database now there is no table now what I will do, I am going to run the migrate command again, php partition migrate enter. You are seeing that running the migrations and now it is done perfectly. Now if I come here, refresh it, you see all the tables come here. Actually the custom table is admins that I created. You see name, email, password, token, etc. comes here. And in the users table, you see all the information that I put that comes here and all other tables cache cache logs fail jobs jobs etc are laravel default tables that is actually not needed for me right now so i am not going to work with that uh, 